sick. <laughs> he's got the man flu. I'm sick. He's, she gave it to me. He's got the man flu. May the fourth be with you. That's right. It's May the fourth. Okay, Lord Gurno, welcome to the neighborhood. Sorry I missed you the uh, when you first joined us. I don't usually miss people, but if I do, I get them, and I make up for it. So, Lord Gurno, welcome to the neighborhood. I'm sick. <laughs> Danny Perry, welcome to the neighborhood. I did say that right, right? Danny Perry. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, my question yesterday was, what famous person have you met, or famous people have you met, and who would you like to meet? Okay. This is a big one, guys. Angie Lupus Life has met Mickey Dolance from the Monkees at a charity event in Tulsa, Tulsa Oklahoma. I love Mickey from the Monkees. Hey, hey, we're the Monkees. Most like to meet Patty Duke because she's always admired her and she really enjoyed her work. I met her. Greg Myers would like to meet Ross Lynch from Austin and Alley, Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. Now he's got a long list. Taylor Swift, Snoop Dogg, Katy Perry, One Direction, Justin Bieber, and Justin Timberlake. Okay, Tanya Longley met Bill Murray. I think that he would be pretty cool to meet. He was vacation in Stowe, Vermont, which was the next town over, and she's got videotape of him shaking her hand and the, the two of them talking. She would have loved to have met Patrick Swayze because he was fine. I have to agree with you there, girl. Mom's Vlog 80, Ma Melody Mainville. She has already met tons of WWE wrestlers, as many of you may have already seen that on her vlog because they did a little thing for, well, a big thing for Elijah um, and Caden. So she would also love to meet Channing Tatum and the entire cast and crew of The Walking Dead. I agree with you there. And Lord Gurno. He has not met anybody famous, so he says the most famous person he knows is himself. I like that. Consider yourself famous. I, I think that's a great idea. And um, he would like the most... The famous pe person people he would like to meet is the neighbors. Hey, hey, it's the neighbors. <laughs> We like that, Lord Gurno. So, thumbs up to you. Jessica C.T. has not met anyone famous, but she would love to meet Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, to her, is my Daryl Dixon to me. She has pictures of Taylor Swift all over her room, and she has her iPhone case. It is a 1989 picture of Taylor Swift. Sounds familiar. Got a cardboard, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Doug E. Style. Now this one, we're kind of jealous about. He met met Vincent Price in 1977. I would have loved to have met him. It's amazing. Yeah, we would have loved to have met him. That just amazing. Crimson Fairy has met several actors from various Star Trek series. And she would have loved to have met and talked to philosophy, talk philosophy with Voltaire. <laughs> okay. But he's been dead for more than 200 years. I don't think that's going to happen. That's going to be a one-sided conversation. Yeah. And Terry Johnson, she's got an interesting list here. She met Kevin Costner on the set of Field of Dreams, so she got a picture of... Her and him together with his arm around her, which he is one of her favorite actors. Bill and he will come. <laughs> um, she got an autograph from Gregory Peck when he was in a local mall. She got a picture and autograph from Paris Hilton when she was in the local mall. She's seen Robert Redford at two different speaking engagements. She got to ask him a question but she never got to meet him, and she still would like to meet him in person. 
Okay, Tracy Quip with the job that she used to have. She got to meet many famous people, but she got to meet Robert Redford 20-something years ago, so he was still looking very hot, which I still think he looks very hot. And she says he's a very sweet man, and she would love to meet and spend the day with Jack Nicholson and just talk about his life and career. I think that would be a pretty cool conversation. Jack Salmon, most famous person he met is John Wayne. Um, he would like to meet Phil Collins. His music warms his heart. The man is a music master, he says. I'm a big fan of Phil Collins myself, so I actually saw him in concert. Very good concert. Okay, Susie here. When she got married, one of her friends gave her, as a wedding gift, two tickets to go see Wayne Newton. When she went to the concert, she held up a sign that said, Just married, best gift, two tickets to see Wayne Newton. Well, he saw the sign and brought her up on stage, so she got to meet Wayne Newton. Pretty good gift there. She also got to meet Bianca Del Rio from RuPaul's Drag Race. I think anybody from RuPaul's Drag Race would be pretty cool to me. And she saw Eminem. And, and, how do you say it? Eminem. Eminem. Like candy. <laughs> it just spelled funny. At the mall while she was working, he was in the play area with his kid. So, pretty interesting. The Abyss 92882 has not met anyone famous. <clears throat> would like to meet WWE superstars John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Roman... Reigns. Reigns and WWE Diva Page. Madeline R.C. met Ricky Martin at a CD signing. She would love to meet Shannon Tatum and have him dance for her like he did in Magic Mike. Jess Lucero ran into Tony Stewart in a casino in Las Vegas. He said he's a super nice guy. He would love to meet Jeff Gordon. I think Jess Lucero is into racing. Sounds like it. Yeah. Bambi S. met Mark Hamill and Willie Ames. And she also met Reese Witherspoon at a ranch here in California where they board their horses. She would like to meet Tr John Travolta and tell him what an awesome person she thinks he is. And she wants to meet Jeff Bridges because he seems to be a norm normal person even though he's rich and famous. Patricia Patty Pat met Conway Twitty in the hall of a hospital, her local hospital, and she would love to meet a real authentic hero. So I think someone from like one of the first responders to 9-11 would, would count as a real authentic hero to me. So, Okay, so what famous person have you met? Uh, I know there's many. Well, there is uh, quite a few. <laughs> Some people you probably wouldn't know because I did a lot of music and I met people like um, uh, Sir Vivian Dunn, uh, Claude T. Smith, Zoltan Rosnier, uh, uh, I, um, I met um, Buddy Rich, Louis Belson, a bunch of horror people. Lou Ferrigno, didn't you meet Yeah, Lou I got Ferrigno? pictures of Lou Ferrigno, and um, uh, just a lot. I mean, I have to be a list. I haven't met all that many. Um, I yeah. met Michael Gross, which was the father on Family Ties. Um, I met, I can't remember his name. He was the guy who did the, the battery, knock it off my shoulder guy, you know, the Energizer battery. All long time commercial, long long time ago. I was in Mexico, and we were in an elevator going up to our room, and he was in the in the elevator with me. I had a whole bunch of seashells in my pocket, and just chatting with this guy. And he's like, "You have no idea who I am, do you?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> so he told me who he was, and then I looked him up, and but I can't remember his name now. Um, <laughs> Um, I met Billy Gilman. I don't know if any of you know who he is, but I met him with my daughter Megan when she was like seven years old or so. She was in love with him then. Um, I can't think of anybody else, really. 
<clears throat> off the top of my head. But there, there's been more. Right. Nikki and John. I met Nikki and John. I'm sick. Kevin's sick. Okay, so my question for tonight is, if you had to leave the country tomorrow, where would you go to start a new life, and why would you go there? Why would you pick there? That's your question. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, let's see if I still have a voice. Because my throat really hurts. Yesterday's question was about <clears throat> uh, 1408. I love that movie. Uh, it's a Stephen King movie. It has, uh, what's his name in it? John Cusack. John Cusack. Very, very good. Good and, in that role. You and really. the number 13 shows up constantly. <laughs> uh, if you add the numbers 1408, it adds up to uh, 13. It's actually on the 13th floor, but they call it the 14th floor because of old system because people were afraid to be on the 13th floor, so that's uh, other things. I'm just not going to go over all of it. If you want to see all the different uh, references to number 13, you'll have to read Perry Johnson's uh, reply because she goes into great detail more than I knew. And those who got it right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Bambi Ed. Uh, tonight's question I ran across by accident. It's kind of a neat one. Um, I kept running across this thing in a bunch of movies. It kept showing up, and it kept showing up. And it would just say, Wilhelm Scream, W-I-L-H-E-L-M, uh, Wilhelm or Wilhelm Scream. And I had to look it up because I had no idea what it was. But it's in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of movies. What is it? And where did it come from? There you have it, your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow.